Hi there. In this video I'm going to highlight the News Panel tab in Interactive Brokers. So for those of you who are unfamiliar with the platform, once you've launched it, this is the mosaic view. In the bottom left hand corner we have the News Panel tab. And uh, so there's a couple different things here that we'll take a look at. On uh, the top here you have the different tabs available by default. Um, so market, this will basically just show you any kind of uh, general market news. If you click any of these links, it'll open up uh, in your browser. Let me pull that over here. And so you've got your article. Um, so the portfolio tab, this will link to any uh, existing positions. So if you have any open positions, you can just click you know, whatever it was and it would open up relevant information about that position or that, uh, that ticker or company. Um, if you click this plus sign, right next to portfolio uh, you can add a different uh, you know a different kind of news filter if you will so we're gonna go and choose company specific news so when you click this um, obviously you know there's nothing down here yet but what you can do is from your watch list up here at the top right um, if you choose any of uh, your symbols here so we'll just click on Tesla and it should pull up relevant information to Tesla, so it has. So we'll just take a look. So Tesla Motors Roundup here. And uh, just like before, it's opened up that news page. So it's a pretty nice feature, you know, especially if you look at a lot of fundamental stuff. Um, one of the other things here is just to highlight is, like I said, that was kind of made possible with this color linking. So you can see this is linked pretty much across the whole platform so anytime you choose something from your watch list uh, it'll actually change in all of these areas so I'll just go ahead and you know show you that real quick so choose Apple once again down here in the news panel tab uh, it's now changed all of our information to Apple related news uh, you can see here the symbol on the chart has now changed to Apple so that's really it hope that helps